Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of To The Moon. In the last episode, we made it to what I'm referring to it as Stage 4. Seems like we're just about done with this part of Johnny's life. In this episode, we'll delve even further. Let's get started. Welp, that was quick. Uh, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. This song... It's pretty... It's pretty. I see a Le Fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Okay, I'll I'll forgive you a bit for the cheese puns. I'm about to seize. Who baby? Toast professional let's playing right here. The cheesiest. Okay. If he makes puns, then I guess he's all right. An aged animorphs book. A lot of people here. What is this a party? Huh. Can't talk to anyone yet. Maybe over here? Doesn't look like it. Really hope there isn't just someone here that I need to talk to, though it wouldn't surprise me. It's all about puzzle solving. Still don't even see Johnny yet. Or maybe I have, I don't know. He looks quite a bit younger right now. Let's see if we could find him. When in doubt, I guess, there's only one way to go. That's up. Seems I was right. Or not? I can't speak with them. But I can go in here. Do you feel any different? Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. Why, do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, my butt! I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again.
to promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband, to promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Ack, the wedding. Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment. Does she have an idea as to what happened already? I really wish I was in the know right now. <sighs> oh, they're finally here. Things have changed a little bit. Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? What? Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Because I'd rather you call me John. Not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those, anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Hmm. I'm so proud of Joey. Sort of worried about something for a second, but I don't know. <laughs> Such like a it's supposed to be a heartwarming moment, but like with everything else that's going on, everything else that we know, it's kind of hard to be happy about things right now. I also don't know where this last memento is. Where could it be? Maybe downward some more? Looks like it. Let's go over here. Doesn't look like anything's in the cars. What's this? It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? I think this is the source of all those folded paper ones. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Thought so. Dead rabbit. 
This can't be it though, can it? It's a reminder of something else? Oh boy. Hopefully the image isn't too gruesome. Um, that was quick. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. This smells like a farm. And roadkill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Alright. Now where are we? Okay, hello! Okay. So, uh, we can't get hit by that thing, but a blue horse? Um. Whoa! Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what. Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. Uh. Yeah! Quit wasting time, Neil. Oh god! That can't be good. Ah! Do something! Don't just stand there! Help me! Darn it, this was not in the job description. Dr. Neil Watts. What? Why do I get a note for him? Village idiot! Oh my god. Okay, so just info on other people, but why do we get one for him? Alright, well I guess he is visible now in this timeline. He affected the past or something? I don't know how this works exactly. Oops, so we're just gonna go in the complete opposite direction. Completely ignore him. Uh, what else is there? Anything of interest? Hello, another horse. I hope I don't have to examine those. That's gonna be difficult. Unless I get a run button. It's a nice looking tree. This is probably where the wedding was. Well, yeah, obviously it was where the wedding was. But without the wedding. Not sure how far back it is, though. It seems kind of empty. Or really empty. Isn't this great commentary, guys? No. Um... There's really nothing over here. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back after this. There's not a single memento here. Also, it looks like the screen's getting smaller. Um, is that really happening? There's nothing over here. Oh, goody. I have to walk all the way back and reflect now. Oh, boy. Wish I could have had a horse to ride. That'd be fun. But no, I gotta walk it out. Go the long way. Do 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 be do boo. Um, I don't know. I guess I could mention this. Uh, this let's play is dedicated to my uh grandpa on my dad's side. But uh, seeing all these horses, it reminds me of my grandpa on my mom's side. He ran a farm and um basically had like a bunch of animals for um the entirety of his life. As I uh, I think so. I don't know. Just seeing all these animals, I unfortunately don't have many memories of him because he died when I was really young. Probably the only memory I have was he took me for, to get my hair cut all the time, and I remember the hair haircut person more than I remember my grandpa, or as I as we called him, Papa. I know I but like with grandparents, like I know that people have like different names for them. Um, for my grandma, on my mom's side, I just called her Grandma, and then my grandpa on my mom's side. He was always Papa. Everyone called him that. But then when I met my grandparents on my dad's side, which I met second because they live in California and I was born and raised in Connecticut, I felt weird having 
like calling two people the same name, so I always refer to them as Grandma Janice and Grandpa Loeb. And yes, I know his name is weird. I hope there aren't any rude comments about his name. He was named after his grandfather named Laib. And um, I know I've been told this story like a bunch of times in the past few months, so I don't know. I know it's a weird name, but that's who he was. That was his name. Hmm. This looks really weird how they're just not moving. I can't even examine. Oh, were you here before? Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to the she's not new to this anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine, I'm not a child. Ah! Ah! River! Oh no. What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! Huh, I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Yeah! Oh, he said Eva. He said Ava. This is about 19% more than I can handle! What a moron. Ooh, can I ride the horse? Please, come on, game. Oh, what the corn cob. Yeah! Yes! Oh my god, any game that has horse riding in it is automatically like 10 times more awesome than it already was. It's just a fact of life. Come on, seriously. What's the best part of Ocarina of Time? Not the combat, not the epic story and the amazing quests that we all experienced when we were younger. No, it was getting to ride a horse. And of course they brought that back for Twilight Princess. They couldn't do it for Wind Waker because there was no land, it was just water. Unless we had a water horse. A seahorse? <laughs> Uh, something tells me that wouldn't work out as well, but, uh, space bar to gallop. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, stop messing with it. Okay, we can go super stinking fast with this. Is that them? I can't talk to them either way. Uh, should I go save Neil, or should I just, like, goof off some more? Uh, let's see. I like goofing off, and I also don't know where he is, so it can't be helped. Well, there... There they are. Let's try following them. Uh, wherever they go. Jeez, they're fast. Is that both of them there? No, it's just her. Okay. Can I catch up? Can I catch up? Slightly faster. Can't. Oh. I was supposed to catch up. Okay, that's interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um. Glitch? Amazing experience. Living on hopes and dreams. I'm a, riding a horse on air. Okay. Sure. This looks amazing. Oh my god, even if it is a glitch, I, I'm having too much fun with it to be upset about it. So, oh, but now I can't go back through the fence. Okay, now I'm kind of concerned. Um, hello? Oh god, was this seriously a glitch? Yeah, this was a glitch. Oh no. Um, how do I jump? <laughs> um, okay. I glitched out the game. Can I go around maybe? Nope. Well, this is awkward. Wasn't expecting this. I went through the stinking wall. Are you kidding me? And there's no way out of this. Well, this is- Whoa, wait, wait, wait! Okay, I was about to reset the game. Is that a secret or something, or a glitch? I don't know. It was fun. At least I got out of it, so I don't have to reset. Okay, I'll save stinking Neil. Maybe. <laughs> I could reach him in time. Too many buttons to press on this weird keyboard. Where'd he go? I think it wouldn't be too hard to find a blue stinking horse, but apparently it is. Eh, we could just leave him behind, actually. My question is, where's the- Where's the breaking point? Oh, there he is. Um. Okay, there we go. Thanks! Ow. <laughs> okay, where the heck is he? G? 
Jeez, how far did he go? Um, all the way over here. Here, this memento will do. But I'm not getting on that horse again. You go get the rest of the memory links. I did. <laughs> oh, can we take the horse with us? Um, not sure why it's not showing up, but okay. This whole place is very weird. Prepare. Uh, four goes, okay. I see what you did there. I'm getting better at these puzzles, guys. Alright, let's see if we can take our horse with us back in time. Oh god, we actually did. Um, sorry. I owe you one horse. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, Miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. Pfft. Wow. It's my papa's last name. He's one of the specialists on this subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized con counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir. You should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equinine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. You to told you so. <sighs> Not sure what to say right now. can't believe this piece of atro atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh. I guess that explains the ones in the house. She hates ticking. Is there significance, or does that come with the disorder? Alright, that's where we're gonna go, but not yet. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. <sighs> I'd 
life stinks. Life is really stinking crummy. Did not mean to make that move. Pretty good. Oh, the overall thing, that was how many I've done, like, total throughout the game. Okay. Is there an achievement or something for getting, like, perfect scores on all of them? Let's see where this takes us.